Why doth you give your power away? The Lord says to ask you. I made this video a while ago. I don't know where it went. Don't know where it went. Everything you desire is on the inside of you to prosper. But there's a covenant that activates it. Just like you can't get legal authority for walking a gun unless it's a firearm holder or a police or some law officer. Such is the covenant for eternal life. For the Lord says, I know the plans I have towards you, not to arm you, but to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. The Lord says he wants to give you the desires of your heart. The Lord says he wants to give you life and life more abundantly. The Lord says you have not, for you ask not. The Lord said, anything you ask, I ask for in prayer and believe that you have received, you shall be given it. The Lord says, why don't you give your power away to the men that the devil has risen up? Just as how God used us, Christians, apostles, all type of people, so that Satan raise up men. And the reason why they look like they're prospering and happy, it's a lie, it's a facade, it's a trap. Their end is either going to be that they die, go to jail, become crazy, Become a mockery or repent and serve the Lord and tell you the same thing I'm telling you now. But for the latter part, Satan don't fight them because it's a process. He raised up the people that he can use. The art in them is dark enough for him to tell them, sacrifice your mother for prosperity and sacrifice their children and they do it. Then he put them on the forefront and shine them up. And make you believe that if you work hard, you'll be like them. It's not hard work get them there. They did a lot of stuff. Some of them turned prostitutes. Some of them turned gays. But not, you're not seeing that part. Some of them are witches. They only show you the shiny part of, they show you the result. Not what got them the result. The Lord said, why do you give your power away? Don't you know that I am on the inside of you, does say the Lord. What you're doing is going to be harmful to you in the long run. If you want prosperity, if you want eternal life, if you want joy, whatever you want, God is the one that is the creator. He creates all things. He's the grantor. Satan can't give you what he doesn't possess. He, do, he can't give life. How will you get life from someone who can't give life? Right now, Satan wants mercy from God. Fino go hell. When that time comes. How will he cause you to get life? Why are you giving your power away and staying in that mess? Asking God, why this? Why that? Stressing and crying and life that feels like it goes nowhere. When on the inside of you, God wants to, to birth what he created on the inside of you from you was in your mother's womb. But you're out here being blinded. A decree we get sight by those who Satan risen up with a lie. Satan is a liar. There's no truth in him. He's incapable. He doesn't possess the Okay, the quality, the capacity rather, to speak the truth. Everything is a strategy to win another soul for eternity. If you want something, don't be fooled by the fast life. They didn't get it just like that. Anybody that work witchcraft, they normally like spiders. Because spider is severe bondage. Don't be surprised if you see anybody that sing about witchcraft. Them like to pull to people when them spider. Because on the inside of them is the spirit they carry. Birds of a feather flock together. Why don't you let someone, the devil, use men to tell you a lie that this life is nice and you can get big car. They didn't get the big car like that. They're lying to you. Are you willing to sacrifice your mother and let your family bleed to drive a big car? When God can come and take you from zero to zero real quick. All you have to do is come under the covenant of Jesus Christ. So you can not only prosper in this life. But after death, you miss hell and land in heaven for eternal joy. Something Satan cannot fake, nor can he do. So he's trying to take God's beloved with him. Don't go. I bind every spirit of whiplash, backlash, and retaliation. In Jesus' name, please share this message. Amen.